Okay, all right, I'm going to make some parts for characters for a video game that I'm actually developing. Uh, I'm making a library full of parts to do the equivalent of uh, kit bashing. Uh, you know, arms, legs, that kind of stuff, heads, things like that. So I can kind of uh, help so that there's a, a certain theme that goes through it. And um, also it'll be a little bit easier for me to see what works. And since I, I know how I put to, put my stuff together, um, I can easily, I don't necessarily have to model a, a body, which I've already done that and then, you know, cut them apart and then do the same thing. I can actually kind of uh, assemble the parts even as I, I rig them, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do, because I, I, I have to actually make the base um, the different parts, like the feet, what, or what would be equivalent to feet, where the hands would be, arm, forearm, the neck, deltoid, shoulder, you know, stuff like that. So these things aren't human, so uh, yeah, <sighs> but they're, st they're still rules. Uh, I'm using a free program called SculptGL. Um, there's a, I'm using the desktop version, although it's pretty much identical to the uh, to the browser version. And uh, so I'm going to be bouncing between this and um, what's it called? And Mesh Mixer, which is also free. They're both free programs. Mesh Mixer is kind of like Mudbox Lite. Uh, the problem with this program is that uh, once you start uh, going approaching like a million polygons, uh, it will probably crash. So I have to be very careful. <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep the uh, I'm going to keep the quads on because <laughs> because if I don't, um, it'll 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 start just it'll just be a crap ton of vertices and and that that's what will do it. Um, okay, so let's, I'm just going to do it. Um, I tried uploading another version of this that they failed. My sound was cutting out for some reason. I think it was an encoding problem. Um, that's pretty much what it was. So I'm just going to, um, kind of flatten the head here. Wait. Yeah, just oh symmetry's on no. Hey. Oh. they're the most human and that's kind of on purpose. Something I learned in like speech class is if you're giving a speech, you're doing some public speaking and you're trying to do a pers cause there's different types of speeches, but a pervasive one um, where you're trying to influence people, you uh, make it, you do, you say something to make it personal. Um, if you look at any politician, that's, that's pretty much how they campaign. They do something that, so that it seems like <laughs> they're relating to you, <laughs> you know, like they're, they're, you know, they're looking out for you. So it's the same, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, it, it's. Um, but I'm also kind of thinking about, oh, a particular character that I wanted to make. Cause there's, there's a lot of them that do a lot of things and, um, but yeah, I guess this will be the front kind of removing clay 
or because <laughs> I think about it like that, like like because you know I I actually sculpt, and so that's one thing you kind of do is like like get in there and you know. There's really no, um, it's just like, you know, have fun. There's no rules, you know, it's like, it's like, whatever. I mean, actually, no, actually I have rules, but, um, a lot of that has to do with, so I can get it done. So I'm not like, cause I tend to like noodle stuff to death, which for this kind of works with like all these weird mesenteries and, um, weird capillaries and microvilli and all that stuff, all that nice stuff. So I'm making a video game and I'm uh, well, basically doing everything. Probably not going to talk that much about it. <laughs> I mean, I will, but not to sort of in a limited way. I'm not really. But it's, you know, it, it is in the spirit of a lot of the stuff that I've enjoyed and also worked on. Had the pleasure of honor of working on things like that. I mean, it's, it's escapism, you know. Have you forget about whatever it is you're doing for the time that you're in this world and, um, you know, have some fun. As long as I stay in this mode, like, if, like if I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to like my, uh, my vertices won't really change that much, which is cool. Cause I'm just like, Just like moving stuff and move yeah i'm just kind of moving stuff around i'm not really but there cut there will come a point where i kind of have to um make it look a little bit better because it, it looking rough will actually it'll stay looking rough if i don't eventually um like retopologize the thing In some ways, it kind of reminds me of um, this program. Kind of reminds me of um, a little bit of, of ZBrush, but I'm I purposely like do stuff like this so that I can, um, especially a program like this where I know it'll it'll crash if I get carried away. It 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 forces me not to have um, models that are like you know, fifteen twenty million polygons, which I can. I mean, a lot of times that might just be on a head or something. It may not even be the whole body. So I get kind of. But that's because I'm 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 not really using textures. It's all, all geometry, and um, it actually does translate well. Um, I try to use textures, but it just looks weird. It's like the illusion. It it's not a really convincing illusion for how I'm showing my stuff. Like really like detailed stuff. Um, because the only thing I'm really doing as far as if you want to call it a texture is more like how I'm treating the surface. I'm making my surface as translucent so that you actually can see the detail that I'm putting in, like where there's like these weird, like, you know, looks kind of like blood vessels and um, stuff like that. It's like little, 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 little veins and things like that that I put in that are like sub you know would be equivalent to like subdermal that stuff actually shows through because because um the uh the outside of the thing will be um uh, it'll be kind of like you know translucent so that's good when you're doing like subsurface scattering and things like that you know the light that's absorbed and reflected back and and reflected in and 
you know, in skin and things like that. It, it, basically, it makes the thing look like it's alive. still using the flat brush but it's fine it's i'm sort of treating this like um i'm even doing the 3d modeling like it's a sketch you know what i mean like i'm not gonna there's not gonna be a whole bunch of smoothing out because it starts looking weird when it looks when it's smoothed smoothed out and and at some point i'm gonna turn off symmetry and just um have it look asymmetrical because it things look weird when you when you start um when they're symmetrical because we're not that way nothing really is unless it was it was intent it was made by a machine but like if you look up close nothing's like truly symmetrical like you don't even have to you don't even have to know about like art and stuff like that to know that something doesn't look right like it can look like too perfect um And it's weird because there's a tendency, like if you're doing 3D stuff, it's like, oh, it has to be, oh, here's my opportunity to make this look perfect. It's like, no, actually, it's good. If you don't make it perfect, it's good if it looks like, you know, sculptural and things like that. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to remove the bottom so, just so it's not like a, a sphere or something like that. Just cut into that shape. I'm gonna, um, yeah, just cut into this. Because, like, uh, some of this stuff, uh, later on, I'm going to be thinking about, like, oh, uh, how about the locomotion? You know, how do these things move? Do, do any of them fly? Like, what would make sense? Okay, I'm going to um, try not to make it look like a freaking helmet or something. Um, but I'm going to... Yeah, the thing I like about this is like versus sketching, like with a pencil is um, you would of course be referring to your stuff and maybe standing up looking looking at it and maybe leaving it alone and then looking at it. <laughs> or the ultimate is hold your drawing up to a uh, to a mirror. <laughs> Oh man, like, no, I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to, let's see, where's move? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go in here and move this. these creatures I have called the them. This kind of reminds me of one of their heads. They're called them. So it's kind of weird when I'm writing, I'm like, they're called them, and you're going to refer to them as them. It's like, no. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I have to, I have to experiment. You know, I might. 
about I'm doing the way I think about it is like, you know, it's uh you know, if it looked like this in real life, then then there it is. You can't be like, Oh, that doesn't make sense. There's lots of things that if we looked at it, you know, if we were, it, it's like, we look at it, like, from the point of view, like, well, I wouldn't do that. It's like, yeah, but it is, you know, look at a platypus. That freaking thing doesn't make sense. That's like somebody freaking kit bashed on a biological tip. That, that's an animal that doesn't make sense. It's like, it's a mammal, but it lays eggs and it has webbed feet and it has a duck bill, but you know what I mean? It makes sense to us. That's pretty much it. We always look at it like, oh, I am human. It should make sense to me. It's like there's stuff about us that doesn't make sense. You know, why? <laughs> why is this particular thing here? And I mean, all we do is just try to all we the best we can do is just rationalize why something is there, even even though you could look at it objectively and be like, that doesn't make sense, but you kind of make it work. It's all you do. Oh no, did I turn off symmetry? No, symmetry's still on. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I thought it was, I didn't trust it. For some reason, I was looking at it here and then I turned it, I thought it was gonna be lower, but no, it's in the right place. Yeah, it's like just having fun. I think like, if you don't have fun, like as far as like making some design, it's kind of like, eh, it's like it ends up, It's like, I'm, you know, I might make a mistake or whatever, that, but like, make it work. You know? Like, I didn't know that was going to happen with the twist. Like, some weird nipple looking thing or whatever. I don't know. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Because I'm still learning how to use this program. Like, it's, it's fun. And it's free. Oh wait, actually I meant to make that bigger. It is kind of weird because I'm thinking like, what direction am I supposed to go to? So I'm I'm kind of going uh, clockwise. Oh, actually I like that. That's going in. I'm going counterclockwise. <laughs> That's cool. It looks like some weird symbol. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff where, like the details they'll they'll like they'll um there'll be some interesting effects when I go to <clears throat> render the thing.
Please move the hell out the way. Please move the hell. Nah, some people are stupid. I've seen it where like you hear the ambulance, like like you hear it before it even hits the intersection, and you're still not moving out of the way, and then when they get there, oh okay, it's like move the hell out the way, man. Yeah, sometimes it it's like the announcement. It kind of reminds me of like when you have uh, warning labels on things where you you would think you're like, okay, if you're smart enough to read that, you're not going to be dumb enough to do something like the uh, desiccant. You know, those little, those little silica packets that come in, uh, it's basically silica, the silica gel packets that come in, like, with electronics, and, you know, they're meant to, um, yeah, hence the name desiccant, it's meant to absorb moisture. And um, it says, desiccant, do not eat. And you're like, if you're, if you know what that says, you're not going to eat it. You know, I saw that stuff as a kid, but I was never like, ooh, hey. <laughs> I, I'm proud that I, I wasn't the kind of kid that would look at, you know, a bottle of bleach and be like, oh, Kool-Aid. <laughs> it's funny, my daughter, she'll like totally troll me. She, she'll like put something that she shouldn't be, that she knows, she like knows better that she shouldn't be, you know, maybe putting in her mouth and she'll kind of look at you like, eh, eh, is this okay? You're like, no, it's not okay. What are you? Stop messing around, girl. <laughs> She's like three years old. But, but it's like, you know, like this stuff I knew. I knew that certain things were bad. But the thing about me is funny. Like, like when I was a kid, a lot of the stuff that was bad for you, you would see a skull and crossbone on it. So you kind of knew like, yeah, skull and crossbone, bad. <laughs> like this is going to, this is going to freaking kill you. Yes, killing is. <laughs> I think that's something we all kind of understand. Like. You know, like you will cease to exist. <laughs> this is this is not good. Cause she'll get hurt, but she's pretty tough, like me. You know, she'll be like, oh, I hurt myself. It's like, but it's funny. Like, I remember I get hurt, and my mom, she'd go, "Oh, it's okay," and I'm like, "Oh, it's okay." Oh, cause mom said it's okay. <laughs> the magic. The magical powers of mom. Like, that's okay. So it ended up being like certain types of pain. I'd be like, well, it's not as bad as this other time. So it's, you know, so I'm probably not going to, I'm not going to yell. And then, um, and what happens is like, kids will look at you. They'll be like, are they freaking out? And if you freak out, they'll freak out. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, you know, she might hurt herself. And I'll be like, oh, like, are you okay? Do you know, dodge your blue dodge. She'd be like, yes, yes. Hi. She'll be like, hi. I'll shake her at it, but uh, yeah, it's. I mean, a lot of times I'll say "ouch," even though something doesn't hurt. Just you know, because if you if you hit yourself really hard, and you're around people, and you don't say anything under certain situations, they'll be like, "What the? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> You just hit your leg on that table. Why didn't you? Re why didn't you react? <laughs> and I mean, there's some people that have that. Um, they uh, they're they actually don't really feel pain. Um, it's like they'll have a sensation that something's happening, but they don't actually feel pain. There's a few people like that in the world, but uh, I'm not like that. But I just have a high threshold for pain. Yeah, like right now, I want to change this thing to quads because, well, let me, I'm going to flatten this some more. I'm going to make it not as thick because it's kind of, yeah, yeah, I'm going to make it, I'm going to go in there and, uh, that's what I like about this stuff. It just reminds me of like actually sculpting. Well, I guess I actually am sculpting. I'm just not sculpting with traditional media. I think that was part of my major sculpture, because I I I um I majored in uh, microbiology and also um illustration, but I'm just thinking about the illustration part.
this, you, you know, and you were just drawing half of it, and you could be like, okay, I could mirror that, but then you'd be like, hmm, based on this, I wonder, I'm going to do a three-quarters view, right? How does that look? You know, how much, how much of that am I seeing? Wait, what is this? Oh, flatten. Yeah, you're just like, hmm, hmm, you know? Oh, no, not crease. I don't want crease. I should probably save this. Just in case this thing. Seriously, people, seriously, this thing will crash. And um, it there won't be a recovery either. But a lot of it, I kind of like, I'm trying to see, like, how far I can push it. Even with the the risk of um, me losing everything. I mean, it's the same thing in real life. I mean, I could be making a drawing and I could, I could. Really flat? No, actually, that's not. That's not giving me what I want. Uh oh, I could use move, maybe. Move and then and then uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that's the mask tool. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Mask, 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 mask. I could. I could. Oh, hold on. Messed up. I could actually. Mask that off and then not move. I'm trying to inflate. So this is one one thing you do if you're sculpting. You you'd have it on a on a lazy Susan and you'd be rotating it as you were doing it. But well, with this, of course, I don't have to, um, I mean, I'm doing this, but I don't have to go to the other side because mirroring's turned on, so I know that it looks like this on the other side. Which is something you could get used to, because you could be like, or you're not you're not used to it because you haven't done it before, but then after a while you're like, oh, okay, trust the technology, it, it actually is mirroring. problem with mesh mixer i don't know why but you can't change the mapping like if you use the hot key to save like control s or command s on a mac or whatever like that it will actually turn on symmetry or turn it off it'll toggle it and you're just like why the hell are you gonna have the hot key for saved be mapped to the same key as symmetry <laughs> Like, it's like, because what happens, like, if you had symmetry on and you suddenly saved it, hotkey, you know, control S or whatever like that, you either turn it on or off. And, and like, there's parts where I was doing stuff and I didn't realize that symmetry was turned off or on or, you know, vice versa. And I was like, mother. <laughs> so, usually, so usually what I do is when I do it, I'll kind of do it twice. Basically, I'll save it twice. Because it's not like it, you save it. And then it doesn't do symmetry. It, it actually ends up doing both. Which kind of sucks. It's like, what the heck? See, it's getting kind of jagged. But if I turn on... If I activate dynamic topology, then you see it got... It's actually adding more polygons to it. It didn't get, it didn't get derezzed here. That's why it's not jagged. But that weird ridge texture is actually pretty good. It, it, it actually, I don't mind that it's like that. That just gives this thing more, more character. So I, yeah, it's, it's fine. I, I, don't, I don't care. But I'm gonna. Oh, wrong way. I'm gonna.
turn that off because my um, before I know it, I'll I'll get to the point where it's um, for this program starts becoming unmanageable. Just using a smooth a little bit, just making that bigger. I usually don't do that because I want I want to maintain the the weird imperfections and things like that. This is one of those ones where, in my case, for for me, that is because of the way I'm doing this, um, the imperfections and stuff like that are actually fine. It it ends up looking really cool because you'll have these parts where it's like really thin in some places. Um, basically, like a lot of times, like having a sort of a what do they call it. Um, non-manifold whatever model where you know it doesn't have like closed not not all the vertices are closed that that can actually be bad sometimes but in my case it actually it actually adds character and i didn't know that until i started rendering i was like like some crap like this sorry the motorcycles stuff like this is like oh well actually this actually could get a little love right here Stuff like this actually ends up looking really awesome when when it's uh when it's rendered. I mean, the idea of doing this, getting this effect, just doing it by hand is kind of crazy. I mean, I could do it, but it just take me longer. So it's cool that it's. that crap you know it just ends up looking looking really cool of course you want to create it anyway I'm not trying to do too much of the detail because I'm not going to really detail this in this program because like I said this this thing by the time I get the detail that I really really want like this it would be unmanageable unmanageable for this program and it, 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 would, it would crash I better save this I don't need to save um uh, shape and I'm like oh hey I could use that so I'm open to change sort of making mistakes and just having fun and not not overthinking it just like yeah whatever you know like crap like that like scumbling based I'm doing the equivalent of what would be called scumbling if you're painting where you just kind of like let the um, the paintbrush find its way into the nooks and crannies of the surface you know uh you kind of do the same thing when you're uh weathering um uh things when you're like making props and costumes and stuff that you just kind of like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let you know let the stuff work its way into the crevices and things like that and you know add some stuff remove some stuff just let it let the chips fall where they may so i'm trying to do the same thing Instead of being like, oh, it has to be perfect. I, I, but I'm not ready to turn off symmetry, so I'm, I'm not. Cause it, yeah. Let me see what I have. Sometimes I might smooth over it, not, but not, not too much. I'm not trying to make it look totally smooth, and then. One thing I can do is turn on the masking. Oh, it's blade, yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah, this is where I'm going to activate the topology thingy. 
because it's a little bit too low res to get the shape that I want, so. Oh man, inflate, inflate. Got to turn it on a little bit. But yeah, you know, I just like let all that stretching and the weird, uh, looks like uh, wrinkles and stuff. Yeah, leave that. I don't care. That's fine. I mean, obviously this is organic modeling, but this really makes it look organic like that. This stuff right here, all that crap, that looks, that looks cool for what, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do. That's why I like the Cardassian makeup, not to be confused with Kardashian. The Cardassian makeup in um, Star Trek. Um, I don't know. The way they looked, it was just look really sculpted, you know. Oh, wrong button. Oh, let's see. Uh... See, there's some weird, you know, artifact stuff going on, but that's okay. Sort of a Bob Ross. <laughs> if Bob Ross, if Bob Ross was doing 3D modeling, oh, that would be cool. Somebody like him. Oh, I keep pressing, uh, I'm pressing the window. Yeah, I keep pressing the window screen. That I don't think that's a that's any kind of hotkey for. The, oh, oh, I forgot. I have to uh, turn that off. I got carried away. So yeah, and I'm just like, have some fun. Let's see what's up. Very translucent. So that, that's the cool thing about this is I can model for, for um, my needs. You know, I kind of, I, I can kind of, it's like certain things are built in because I know, I know I can put little things in that might look weird now, but I know it looks awesome. And, that, and that's the weird thing about it. It's like, it's like, um, who can do that and I come back to it every now and then but I'm like yeah, okay you know whatever but I'm I'm trying not to get bogged down in the in the technical stuff even though I guess it's probably the considered technical and I could use all the freaking um what do you call it the technical terms as I'm doing it but I don't really care I'm I'm doing what I'm doing. But I also know that if if you wrote down what I'm doing as like a a list of things that you would want somebody to be able to do, if say if you're going for a job as a 3D modeler, I would I probably if I was reading, I'd probably be like, oh, I don't know how to do that. 
but but that which is why I'm the kind of person where it's like um Once I understand it, I'm I'm good. But show me, don't just freaking talk. I don't I don't I don't I get bored if somebody's just talking about how to do something that involves problem solving and stuff like that. Ah, oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Porn activated. No. Uh, okay, let's see what this. Hold on. Yeah, I haven't really been doing much on the. See, I see, see, I got kind of involved in this this part, and um, almost almost got carried away. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's like obviously there's a crap ton of detail. I'm gonna. I need to make this not look like it's a helmet because it kind of looks like that. It's like a head. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put some stuff in there. I'm gonna. So right now it's inflate. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna press. What is it? The con not control. Alt. I think Alt will. Do the reverse thing, yeah. See, it's ripping, but but that stuff actually will um. It'll be fine. Oh, let me see. I gotta move it. Move, move, or drag. No, drag or move. Oh, drag. Some of these tools are similar because it's like, oh, is it drag or move? I think. Whatever, it's just adding to it. Um, let me see. Let me see. Drag. Brush will um, add geometry. Smooth that out. See, but it's fine. But the stuff that's remaining, there's still some raised stuff, which is fine. It, it's it's cool. I don't. Whatever. It's like maybe becoming too low res, so that's where I might cheat a little bit. Cheat it as in like turn off the quad so I can what do they call it? So I can subdivide it more because the su subdivision is like when you like. Give it more um, more pieces that make it up because the, the less you have, it's kind of like having a um, almost like resolution. You know, the more the more pixels you have, the higher resolution, the better it'll look. So, and this.
Oh, I can't do anything about it. Did all that work? I'm like, yeah, it was a lot of work, but at a certain point, you can't really, you know, you can't do anything. Like, like I've, I've lost stuff. And there is nothing I can do about it, which sucks. And that's one thing you're constantly reminded of when you work with computers. You're just like, well, you know, if I made a drawing, that's not going to crash. something might work in your favor or not. I don't know. It's I want to use a crease. I want a crease or punch. I just forget. Crease. Do I still have oh yeah, I still have symmetry turned on. I'm just gonna just gonna dig in there. Oh, that might be too big. I use tools like crease and pinch a lot because it, oh, it just gives me what I need. Good for doing folds and wrinkles and maybe a little pinch and then go in and kind of. I'm just going over it because I know that um, as I go over it, just randomly, it's it's actually um, it's subdividing it, so that's why everything starts looking like tight, less less like sixteen bit, <sighs> less sixteen. Get all this crap in there, like I said, I. I'm just kind of I'm going to do a sketch that's loose. Well, I want to do 3D modeling that's loose, you know, not like, yeah, you know, like I'm experimenting with this person. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I, I'm going to switch to another one. But I'm not going to undo it. I'm going to work it in, which is what you would do before, if you're not using a computer. Like, you, you're going to work it in. Oh, I suppose I, I spilled some coffee on my on my drawing or whatever that. I was like, I could work it in. <laughs> I get really good at that, but I also get really good at not spilling stuff on my drawings. You know, like that. I just like, oh, that sucks. But that's still a nice shape. It's still a nice shape. You know, I'm, I'm I don't necessarily want it all over the place, but you know, whatever. Keep it in there.
Yeah, whatever. Like, what's what is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just some weird, you know, whatever. Again, it's like kind of like I'm not. I'm not doing this from the point of view of like what what would I do if I was God? I'm more like let's just pretend that this is some creature and this is it. I mean this is this is what it looks like. It has this weird crap going on here, whatever. I don't know. What's it for? It's like there, there's all kinds of animals we don't know what structure certain structures on their bodies are for. And and what about all the animals we haven't even discovered yet, you know? It's there's so much we don't even know. So I like to think, hey, somewhere, somewhere this thing exists. Oh wait, I better turn off the. Um... that off I couldn't I don't want to get carried away not not yet not yet but I also wanted a sense of accomplishment I was like man I need to you know I want to feel like I'm getting somewhere I don't want pinch I want crease all right oh Let's say decrease the intensity That's still kind of big. Skin that down. <laughs> like sometimes I'll be in a coffee shop, but I'll be really close up on my thing, and you know, it, it, I mean. I don't know what people think, but, you know, some of the stuff might look like a modeling in a butt or something like that. Like, what is that? <laughs> like, that's disgusting. It's like, shut the fuck up. Get back to this. Um, I mean, the only reason I'll go into a coffee shop is, is because I don't feel like working at home or something like that. And it'll force me to, gotta, I gotta trick myself sometimes. Like me, like getting started a lot of times is that's the thing. It's not actually doing it. I don't mind doing a lot of stuff. It's just sometimes you like, oh, I don't feel like working on this. Well, it's like it's not like, oh, well, yeah, I guess I guess that is what it is. But you're like, oh, I want to play this video game. Well, that's the cool thing about for me playing video games. I'm taking notes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm totally, I'm totally taking notes. I'm like, oh, hey, I could do that or or. Yeah. And I'm having fun, you know what I mean? Or get inspired or something like that. I mean, I appreciate a lot of the stuff that a lot of people do in these games, man. You know, that little that little prop or whatever somebody made. I, you know, I'll sometimes... Other people notice it, too. Like, my friends are like, oh, man, did you notice that you're, you ever just, you know, sit and look at the sun? I'm like, yeah, man, it's awesome. The sunset in this game, this one game, and... There's several games you could say that about. That's the cool thing about it. I mean, um, like Far Cry. Yeah, like a lot of the stuff that Ubisoft does, actually, you know, a lot of people give them crap. They give them, give, give them that shade, but I'm serious. But as far as like atmospherics and stuff like that, those guys, man, that stuff sometimes is so, so pretty. atmospheric haze and stuff like that. You're like, oh my god, so awesome. One thing I like about uh, what's that game? Um, the Division uh, 2 is it'll rain, but before it rains, you actually see the clouds moving in. That's the cool thing about it. You see the clouds go from, maybe there's no clouds to some clouds, and they kind of turn at times uh, gray and they're sort of black. Yeah, you know, you get the the Nimbus clouds, and you know, it, it, they have the different cloud formations, you know, stratocumulus, and <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, Nimbus, and all that stuff. And it, it, it's cool, I 
The only problem I have with the, some of the atmospherics in there is the stars are too big. So they look, they don't look bad. They just don't match the rest of the game because they look a little bit too, it looks, it looks too much like concept art. Which isn't bad. It's just the rest of the game doesn't look like that. It, so it's sort of kind of jarring. Like, what? Why do those stars look so painterly and the rest of the game doesn't? You know what I mean? If the rest of the game looked like that, then it'd be fine. But it doesn't. So when you have something that looks painterly in a game that doesn't have that look, it's, it looks weird. And it's just kind of crazy. You're like, oh, I wish I could appreciate I think you'd appreciate it. I was like, I do. But it, again, it, it just it's just that one thing. And that's the problem. It's like, it's just that one thing. It's like everything else is different. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, wait. Let, let the, whatever. Oh, let me turn on, let me turn it off. You can carry it away. I think like Giger, like what did he do? Man, he he was doing a lot of stuff. You know, he would do airbrush and stuff like that, and pen and ink. And man, what did he? What would he do if if Giger had a if that boy was using some like ZBrush or something like that? I mean, he oh, that'd be some crazy stuff, man. That stuff would be tight. It would um, I mean, it's already unsettling, but it would be really crazy someone like that I think it was in oh yeah I was in an art show with um someone that kind of ran with Giger she did backgrounds for uh film and television stuff like that Matte paintings, that kind of stuff. I remember I was able to see like the original art of Star Wars, a lot of the, um, of the a lot of the costumes and matte paintings at the, uh, I think it was the Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco. Because I'm not sure if it was, if it was um, the Museum of Modern Art or um, what's that other one? Museum of Modern Art, and there's another one. I forgot what it was called. It's right across the street from it. Um, totally forgot. Museum of Modern Art. Ah, I forgot what it's called. It was in, yeah, but it was in San Francisco. It was cool seeing that, seeing that stuff, and seeing how um, a lot of the matte paintings weren't as detailed as you would think like they were able to it's stuff like that that i learned from i was like oh okay you can get away with a certain amount of stuff you don't have to do yeah well, one thing i appreciate is is um like a lot of the stuff i saw in the 80s with a lot of the uh, anime Especially when you see drawings, it wasn't just it was just the uh, the stuff from Japan. There there was stuff like uh, the stuff that Filmation did, <clears throat> and and even going back to the '60s with um, what's that Johnny Quest? Because the thing about Johnny Quest, that cartoon, that that what they did was they hired illustrators and then taught them how to animate. So that's why that cartoon looks a certain way. It looks freaking awesome. I mean, as far as like the drawings. Not the animation, but the drawings. That's like some of the best, whether it be for television or, or movies I've ever seen. Because they have thick and thin lines. And it looks just like the comic book look that they were basing it off of. That's what, that's what was crazy. I think they got one of the guys that um, worked on this one comic to work on that. But yeah, man. But the thing about it, the animation in it was actually pretty good too. It's actually a violent, violent show. They killed people in that show. That was in the 60s. <laughs> oh, wrong button.
is kind of funny because they they actually kill people in that show, and then a few years later, in like the eighties, you know, a lot of cartoons were getting getting heat over how violent they were. I'm like, do you guys not remember <laughs> this particular cartoon here? <laughs> It's almost laughable right now if you if you look at the old like say um, news reports and articles on what people thought of like the cartoons and video games and they thought it was a waste and stuff like that and I was thinking I was like I, I was telling somebody uh, somebody at work because they were asking me what kind of games do I like and I was telling them and I but 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 what I said was I said I played um, I played chess first. When I started playing video games, I was like, I could see, I'm like, uh, I'm using the same part of my brain. And there's stuff that I naturally did that when you start studying um, uh, chess, uh, you start learning, you know, different moves, what to do. you take a class on something it's something you already know but then it just makes it so that you intensify what you already know you just get better at what you know and um you do it with more authority and that's the thing it's like certain things like you can tell i don't know about with 3d maybe maybe in real time as i'm doing it but like because when you see the finished product it's kind of hard to you can't really tell if the person um I mean, you could tell somebody messed up somebody, but you couldn't tell, like, their psychological state necessarily, you, you know, from from looking at a something like that. Wait, do I have, I'm trying to figure out if I have a touch on, because this thing keeps moving as my, turn that off, this thing keeps moving as my hand's gliding across it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I think my cable is hitting my mouse, so my mouse is moving. <laughs> but I was like, why does this thing keep moving? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it keeps moving. Why do you keep moving, man? My hand is sweating. I keep forgetting I need to buy that glove. As for people like, like for example, they use like this Cintiq. Or they do animation cells. I could probably make one, just buy a glove. Cut out, cut out all the fingers and just leave um, the uh, pinky and the, uh, what is it, the pinky and the, I don't know which one it is, it's next to the middle finger. Um, so those are the two, yeah, those are the two fingers that are covered up, I think. Yeah, I think the oils from my hand are, um, I have a lot of... doesn't like my point of see that's one thing I, I i do i mean i got it from uh from actual drawing you know like there's comes a part where you're, you're doing it with a pencil and then you might oh i'm gonna do a little pointillism on the tail end of that thing 
So I'm not smoothing this out. I'm smoothing it out with um, the buildup of, of mass, but I'm not smoothing it out with by using uh, the smooth tool. Uh, the brush, brush, brush tool. I'm going to add adding geometry. Make it a little bit smaller. Up the intensity. Oh, actually. Oh, man, I didn't know I had that activated. Uh oh, I didn't know I had that activated. I wouldn't have wasted that on this. Whatever. So it all adds up. Yeah, this thing's tripping. It's like keeps doing that. Seriously, it's not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like, why is it doing why are you doing that? Hmm, what if I turn off clay? What is that? What does that mean? Yeah, I just started using this. I don't, I don't, I didn't read the read me or anything. All right. Who needs that? No, that's right. Now, sometimes you have to read the instructions, but stuff like this, I'm like, eh, it basically works this way. You know, the, the most of the tools are, are where I would expect them to be. So I'm not, you know, I can tell at a glance what something is. If I don't know, I'll test it, but. try my best. So they so what I'm doing is this could be a texture actually, but I'm actually using geometry, so. And nothing beats the real thing. Yeah, with this, it actually works. It may not work for other people, but the the um, the style that I'm using, which is whatever my own, um, you know, combined with stuff that I know that that was around before I was even born, um, or you were born, is um, yeah, you know, like like I said, I'm this is being modeled for what I what I know how I'm going to finish it off
long. Eh. I'm gonna say brush. Oh, it's still doing it, still building it up. Uh, what about flatten? I think flatten. Flatten it. Oh man. Oh, never mind. That's not gonna work. Flat. And trying to use. Oh, crease, 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 crease. That'll give me what I want. things where I was like, yeah, let it let it do its thing, you know. It's gonna it's gonna do what it it's gonna do what it wants to do. Oh wait, I guess I turned off the Oh wait, let me oh damn it. Okay, I can see what that is. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, turn off symmetry. Ten more minutes, then I'm going to stop. Stop for now. Actually, we'll leave it at that. It's too uniform. that turn off 
so much recently. Whatever, it's fine. It's it's a good. Crash now inflate. Inflate so useful. Get these weird lips. I guess in this case, you probably could analyze this psychologically, like, hey, those look like sexual organs. Like, yeah, well, not really, but I mean, I'm sure they do, but I'm not, that's not what they are, but like, but they look like them. Why is that? Because that's basically what I'm doing, but that's not what these are. <laughs> Now, I just want to make it look organic, you know. I mean, oh, I like this look. Let's see now. Yeah, it looks kind of bad. <laughs> Let's save this thing. Save object. Give it the same name. Man, one time I tried to save this stuff because, it, but it was, it was starting to choke on the polygons. I went to save it, and then the, the screen of the application just turned white, and of course it didn't save it. Okay, so it froze. So what we're going to do is open up Keyshot and then, like, I need my mouse. Um, so that I can, uh, I just want to see how it looks. Because I, what I do is a lot of times I'll just um, kit bash. I'll just... Uh, I just want to. I just want a sense of accomplishment. You know, I just want to see. Uh, hey, am I headed in the right direction? Basically, are are my assumptions right? Uh, I'm gonna close this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that thing doesn't ask if. Are you sure? It's like, oh yeah, okay. You, you probably know what you're doing. Um. skin texture in here because this has this has built in um translucency and subsurface scattering but let's give it a give it a second let it let it render there's no real settings going on right now but I I'll get I'll get some idea of what what it looks like Ultimate is if I It's funny because, like, on paper, if I said I'm going to do this, people, oh my god, that's not going to, it's like, eh. Well, guess what? I don't really care <laughs> what you think it's going to do. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I know this is going to look a certain way. So. I'm into very bold shadows and, 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 and defined um, shadow shapes and stuff like that. Yeah, so so that that's pretty much like what we're talking about, Xiao. Inside the, of course, this will look, you know, 
this is this is just rough but this will look better when it's all done Where the, where literally the geometry started getting thin, you can kind of see through it. It has that that you know it's translucent, and then of course like there's like subsurface scattering going on. So some of this light's being absorbed, and some is being reflected back, which yeah. And then the slight texture of the skin texture that I'm using plus the geometry. me faking it, you know. Well, let's let's get in let's get in close. See what that does. But that's the thing about it, like I can basically like there might be some other shapes in here. Like, you know, as I as I go on that I'm like, oh that's a nice shape. I could just cut that bit of geometry out and then use um use that for something else you know and that's one thing I, I, I would notice like if I'd be in a I'd be drawing or something like that and I'd be like whoa I wasn't trying to draw um hair or a feather or something like that but this character has this thing and it actually looks like that oh hey I, I just learned how to do this so it's like it's one big experiment it's the weird black stuff See what this looks like. Oh yeah, actually, I wanna, I wanna get in here. This part. Let's zoom in closer. Like this, you can't tell. I mean, this, this could actually even be used as a. Uh, oh yeah, let me uh, hold on. Let me center the camera. So it rotates around that point that I that I have. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of weird. You see, you see. Okay. So anyway, let that render for a second. Yeah, I mean, I, there's stuff that I've done where like I I put in crazy details, and I'm like, whoa, I could use that as a background, and even though it's part of the something's foot or something like that. See, as you can see, like, it looks kind of jagged, which can can work, actually. Um, how to, you know, whatever. It's, it, it can work. But there there is some parts where I, I want to pull out some shapes, so I probably won't it'll look better when I'm done. But some of this stuff will be in there. Like, I don't, I'm like, I don't care, whatever. That's a good example of like what kind of crap I'm doing. Anyway, that's it for now. It's two o'clock. I gotta go to bed. Yeah. All right. So again, that's um uh, modeling um various uh.
someone else's stuff. And my, my stuff isn't really based on anything, so it's not like, uh, yeah, it's not like that. It's not like, oh, it's based on. And if anything, if my stuff is based on something, it would have been something from the 80s from when I had this idea. So, But even back then, I was like, I need to do something new. I don't know. There's more of a push. We were always, we were always trying to do something new. You know, all the cartoons and stuff. They were all, it was all new stuff. It's like, um, yep. That's why it takes me so long because I'm actually designing like body parts and I'm thinking about what they do, and also trying to make it look cool. But I'm definitely thinking about, oh, this structure is needed here. You know, because I'm like, oh, this is a real structure, but here's a twist on it. You know, so that's. Yeah, knowing a little bit of something about, you know, this stuff actually helps because, you, you know, you can just throw in the techno babble and then you'll be like, oh, yes, I am done. Um, yes. Anyway, matane, jane, bye-bye.